today. Uh, my colleague Ken McKenzie and I were pleased to release a report on uh, the facts and myths of uh, fossil fuel subsidies. I've been uh, amazed that uh, politicians uh, keep using numbers like $2 billion and $2.8 billion in fossil fuel subsidies and make hay over it. Uh, when actually the, uh, the numbers are based on uh, studies that uh, need to be carefully evaluated in terms of, of their methodology. In brief, what uh, we found is that studies that have been used, and, and we use as an example a report done by the uh, International Institute of Sustainable Development, uh, that the subsidies are uh, way overestimated uh, because they make faulty use of uh, tax expenditure accounting uh, as uh, as it's well known in, uh, in practice by governments. The value of the subsidies that one calculates uh, depends very much on the corporate income tax and royalty systems as they affect upstream uh, oil and gas production. And in particular, the royalty uh, payments depend very much on the royalty systems that vary by province. And the corporate income tax uh, is uh, a federal responsibility but also uh, the provinces themselves will have some variations under the corporate income tax. So one has to do a very careful analysis of, of, uh, of both the corporate income tax and the royalty provisions and how they influence uh, the allocation of capital uh, towards the fossil fuel industry. Overall, uh, once you take into account uh, uh, the proper interactions that uh, take place under various tax incentives uh, with the overall fiscal uh, system, as well as uh, understanding better really what is the benchmark, what are, we, what are governments actually trying to tax or, or impose in terms of royalties, uh, that we find that uh, there's actually so many negative tax expenditures that they offset the tax expenditures that overall the fossil fuel industry is uh, more heavily taxed on their uh, marginal decisions uh, than, uh, than other industries in Canada. Therefore, uh, our conclusion is that uh, the fact that there's these large fossil fuel subsidies towards the oil and gas sector is a myth. That's not to say that there isn't uh, room for improvement uh, for uh, the way that we design fiscal levies on the oil and gas industry, whether it's under the corporate income tax uh, or the royalty system. And in particular, we believe that, uh, that the royalty systems, uh, the appropriate benchmark would be to collect rents and therefore should be rent-based royalty systems. And, and to understand uh, how royalty systems operate, you need to evaluate the royalty systems relative to a rent-based royalty. Similarly, under the corporate income tax, it's a tax on income that's paid to shareholders. And there should be an, appro uh, an appropriate uh, and even uh, uh, distribution of tax burdens across industries uh, so that you have a neutral uh, system of taxing investments. So you're neither encouraging investment in one industry or a type of asset relative to another type of uh, industry or asset. My name is uh, Jack Mintz. This is the School of Public Policy. Thanks for watching.